Hello Divine Souls, welcome back to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope everyone is having an amazing day. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So let's get the collective energy for this Twin Flame reading today. You have fear. And I mentioned fear in the last reading. I feel like whoever this person is that's on your mind, they want to reach out, but they fear rejection. On this card, there's a rabbit. So that could be of some kind of significance to you guys. I'm also hearing you guys. <laughs> That whoever this person is that's on your mind, you guys used to fuck like rabbits. I don't know. That's that's what came to my mind. <laughs> so someone could have a rabbit tattoo. Someone could own a rabbit. Maybe that's somebody's nickname. Or like I said, maybe I was just fucking like rabbits. <laughs> but <laughs> this person, they fear coming forward for some reason. But you guys know that rabbits are really quick, right? And it's like they go back and forth in their mind on whether or not they should reach out. But I feel like they're getting tired of holding back. <laughs> what else is going on, Holy Spirit? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Guide. So they could be asking for guidance. They could be talking to somebody about you in this connection. What else is going on? We're going to get some tarot in a minute. You also had a card that fell. Let me see what fell. Yeah, you have resistance. They're trying to resist not reaching out. But like I said, I feel like they can't hold back any longer. For some reason, I'm getting like this person is panicking or something. I don't know. It looks like there's a boat in this water and it's very turbulent. There's a lot of waves. They could be experiencing some kind of turmoil in their life. Or maybe this connection was just very tumultuous. But they are trying to resist not reaching out but it's not working there's also a compass on this guide card here and compasses are usually about direction and i feel like this person took the wrong direction they took the wrong path that's why this connection was turbulent with resistance intuition so like I said, they took the wrong path and they didn't listen to their intuition. See, this intuition, there's a heart. This person has a lot of love for you. But they were fearing love. You have gift. It's like they're going through an awakening. I feel like the next time you see this person, they're going to be bringing you a gift. But they're also seeing that you are a gift in their life. You also have water. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Let's get one more card. I don't know. With this apple eaten out. There was a lot of temptation surrounding this person. And they were guided wrong. They were steered in the wrong direction. They took a bite out of this apple here. And they got fucked up. And the last card is bond. They feel this strong bond with you. But they were resisting your love. And it's because they had a lot of distractions around them. So let's get some clarifiers. Clarify fear.
change. So that's what it is. They feared change. They were used to living their lifestyle a certain way and they didn't want to change. So it had nothing to do with you, but everything to do with them. Yeah, you have maturity. They were immature. That's why they were playing a lot of games. Clarify guide. Stress. I feel like this person had a lot of things going on in their life that you didn't know about. They were juggling a lot of things. They were juggling people. Their life was very unbalanced and they had no direction. That's why you have guide here. What's this stress card all about? Receptivity. You were pouring into this person and you were getting back nothing. This stress card could also be your energy. This person stressed you out because they were confusing you. They weren't being open. They weren't being honest. They weren't being upfront. And you couldn't figure them out. Yeah, with this isolation card, they iced you out. They were in and out of your life. And you felt alone in this connection. You guys are also not speaking right now. This relationship has turned cold. And you are definitely at a distance from each other. Clarify resistance. Moment to moment. Their feelings for you were all over the place. It's like one moment they were happy. The next moment they were unhappy. The next moment they were confusing you. One minute they're hot. One minute they're cold. That's why you have isolation. And you never knew what you were getting on a day-to-day -day basis. Because they were resisting the connection. Yeah, aloneness. You felt alone and isolated in this connection. And this person often shut off their feelings. You didn't know where you stood with them. Completion. And I don't know if you walked away or if they walked away, but there's an ending here. This person was very hard to figure out. On this card, you have a puzzle with a person's face. They were very mysterious. Clarify intuition. With this intuition card collective, I feel like that's you. Your intuition was telling you something was off with this person. And you had a lot of patience. You waited. Because you thought things were going to turn around. It's like you had to figure this puzzle out. And as you can see, you did. Because this person is putting the last puzzle piece to this picture. You guys have great intuition. And you knew that this person was up to no good. Yeah, inner voice. Spirit was talking to you. And a lot of you were praying about this situation. You were praying to God to either let it work out or to end it with completion. Because you were sick and tired of being sick and tired. Clarify gift. Letting go. I can't make it up. You were praying to spirit to either let it work out or to walk away and let it go because they did not see your worth. A lot of you are also very gifted with the inner voice coming out. You could be a psychic or a tarot reader, but you had to let go. You have the outsider. That's how you felt in this connection. You felt like an outsider. And it's because they were playing a lot of mind games. You have mind. This person was selfish. They were insecure. They were arrogant. They were unreliable. They were absent. And they were emotionally unavailable. You have transformation. This relationship caused you to transform. They left you messed up. Look at how this person's mind is. They left you messed up. 
You have never put your all into a relationship like you have this one. And it's because they came across as wanting the end all be all with you. But it was all a facade. See, you are innocent in this connection. And they knew that you were head over heels for them. And they played up on your heartstrings. We're going to clarify bond. Nothingness. This is how they're feeling right now. Empty, alone, depressed, stressed. And they also have a lot of guilt. And it's because they're realizing they messed up a good thing. Yeah, sorrow. I can't make it up. You were the gift. But they were too busy with all these distractions to realize what was in front of them. Now they want a rebirth with you. But now I feel like this is how you're feeling. You have nothing left to give. This person has taken a lot from you. With the rebirth card and transformation card coming out. You're both going through a transformation. Thunderbolt. So this is the tower. This is what's going on in their life right now. They're doing a lot of reflecting collective. And you guys are going to be getting communication from this person within the next few days. That's how fast they're coming in. They want to talk to you. But they're trying to find the courage to do so. They have a guilty conscience. But you guys are from a past life. There's a lot of drama going on with this person right now. You have fighting. But they could also be fighting their feelings. Or there's some kind of internal struggles going on with this person. And I feel like it's due to this transformation. But you guys aren't talking. You have silence. But they do want to compromise with you. And with the lovers, this was the cause of your breakup. But this is also letting me know that you guys did have a strong bond. They're understanding what this connection is now. They were very controlling. But things have slowed down in their life. And it's because with this tower, they're going through an awakening. So that's what's going on right now with you and this person. They're looking at things differently. You have new vision. You guys had trust issues. But they want a new beginning with the fool. This toxic cycle has closed out between you and this person. That's why you have the completion card. Ooh. You have workplace romance. So either you met this person at work and there was a workplace romance. Or you found out that they were cheating with someone at work. Wow. So right off the bat, for some of you, there was definitely an affair. Mm. You also have friend zone. And that's what they wanted this relationship to be. I feel like I said in the last video, they wanted a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. They didn't want to be in a relationship because they had options. You have forever young. So with this maturity card and forever young, this person was very immature and they didn't act their age. For some of you, this person could also look younger than their age and they felt like they can get anyone they wanted. But I'm just getting that they were very immature. There could have also been an age difference between you and this person as well. Or like I said, it could just be their maturity level. Twin flame union. And you had the past life that just came out. That's why this connection was so turbulent. Healing connection. 
And that's what I said. Both of you are going through a transformation. You're both healing. You have made this person grow up, collective. As you can see, this flower is sprouting up. They have matured. But they also want to heal this connection as well. There's a strong magnetic pull. And it's because you guys are a twin flame union. That's why you had the bond card that came out. Falling in love. They're in love with you. And they're seeing the error of their ways. They feel like a fool. Reaching out. What did I tell you guys? With this thunderbolt. They're going to be reaching out. And I said in, in a few days. They're coming in quick. Open your heart. So they're going to be telling you how they truly feel about you. On the reaching out card it says. Expect a call or text from your person of interest. So in the extended reading, we're going to do a part two. We're going to go deeper on their feelings for you because I feel like they were hiding behind a mask. We're going to see how they truly feel collective. We're going to see when are they going to be reaching out. I also want to see what this workplace romance is all about. Was this something that was hidden from you? Was that why this person was so isolated from you and pulling back and they weren't receptive due to a workplace affair? And we're also going to take a look at this thunderbolt because this can mean many things. Either their life is falling apart or they're coming in really quick wanting to talk to you. Or this could just be them going through an awakening and realizing that you're their twin flame. So we're going to take a look at that thunderbolt. Let's get one more. So if you guys would like to purchase the extended readings, it's for members only. All the information is in the description box below. Bonding. Wow. So you had this twice. Yeah. This is definitely a twin flame union. Bond and bonding. Let's read what this says. As you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. So they feel a very strong bond with you. And it's because you guys are from a past life. So let's take this to the extended reading and get more information on how they're feeling about you and this connection. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and lights always.